I got a lot of rejection today. Hi, Barbie. I mean, I've never walked up to a guy and he runs away from me. <laughs> got him. I do see people though seeing the sign and then Googling me, which is also kind of like wily because who knows what pops up first with Google. been humbling i'm gonna keep trying keep telling yourself that darling lisa ann the queen of catching ropes from dudes man that must be quite weird you know you're walking around people don't recognize you unless you're naked that's mad but look i bet most of those guys they knew who she was but they were too embarrassed to show that they knew who she was look i've said this a million times everyone gets rejected even the queen of rope catching gets rejected if you're going for a ride Never let your wife drive. Be a man. <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt your phone call. I got a question. I'm okay. You have a good day though. Can't get everybody though. I was on the phone with my boyfriend, so I couldn't. What you gotta do? I mean, yeah, but I feel like two boyfriends is a good balance, you know? I don't come second to no man though. Either, no, though. I'm not saying that you come in second. Okay. Can I get in? I mean, why should I let you in though? I wanna get to know you. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck. If the date is not working and I, Rico, Hundo, feels like I am wasting my time, I am not going to cover yours because I've already invested once. I'm not going to invest it twice. Unfortunately, guess what? Ladies, my time is just as valuable as yours. Okay. So since my time is just as valuable as yours, if you wasted my time and I wasted your time, it's either you're going to pay or we're going to split this bill because I'm not about to pay. But that's why she gotta be? That that's sounds like you a that. petty man, not a high-value man. All, if I bring you to a place or you bring me to a place and we're not clicking, right? Me and you are not working out. There's something that is off. Mm -hmm. There is nothing wrong with saying, yo, listen, we don't work. We both took an L. Let's just chalk it up and we're going to split this bill and go our separate way. I love how soon as he said this, and I, I, I completely agree, that woman says, you sound like a petty man. That's not a high value man. So what does that make you then? Surely that makes you a low value woman then. Just, just saying that. Didn't even let him finish. Soon as soon as she found out he's not paying, that's it. He's a scumbag. He's this. He's that. These women are broke, man. Gents, if you're on the phone with a girl and she says these words, "Hi, sorry, I'll call you back. My mom is calling." Just move on, my brother. Mom, this is not mom, my man. This is my other man. I mean, I'm trying to help you. Me, I'm trying to help you. Because you're going to stay up all night waiting for her calls like a body. The judge granted her 1200 a week in child support. 1200 a week? Uh-huh. 1200 a week now. I can't. This is ridiculous. It's over, yep. You wanted to take care of that girl, your little new girlfriend. Why is she following him after the court is done? You won. Let him be. Her kids. Now, yes, yes. This ain't about the kids. It's all about her. I need all that money. I need it all. I need every penny I can get. No, no, no. Maybe judge said it's $1,200 a month and you're not understanding. Not weekly, hopefully monthly, because that's way too much money. Now you can see your kids once a week instead of seeing them all the time. Sir, you need to file for joint custody. Once a week to every day. Oh, well, at least I'm getting paid. Ma'am, this is not a good look for single mothers who prefer the father's presence in their child's life versus just the money. I'm gonna be buying plenty of stuff with that money. You know what I could do with that? Do you know what I could do with that? Yeah, since you wanna be taking care of other people's kids, you ain't gonna be taking care of nobody's kids but mine. I don't care what statistics say, there are a lot of good fathers out here trying to take care of their children. 1,200 a week is just ridiculous. And he's completely right, it's not about them kids, man. This is about her. And I can assure you, she ain't spending 1200 a week on kids, man. 
And look, you won it. Leave the man be. Why are you filming and bullying him, putting him online? For this next clip, remember guys, if her Bluetooth looks like this, you need to walk away, man. She belongs to the streets, bro. Hi, baby, you ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. We out. Can I connect my phone on Bluetooth? Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Right, it's yeah, Honda yeah. 1996 with two six. Wait. Wait, what is it again? Honda 1996. I, Did you get it? No, I can't. Help me, babe. I can't. You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? Give me my phone. No. Dad, give me my phone. No. If you don't give me my phone, we are done. I'm going Dad, through it. I want to see it. Give me my phone. I want to see it. Give me my phone. Dad, don't break no. the glass. Give me my phone. No. Give me my phone. Where do you got hiding? Where do you hiding? Dad, give me my phone. No, don't do that. No. Give me my phone. Babe, give me my phone. Give me my phone. No. Give me I want to see this. No. Shut the fuck up. It's a really easy way to see if your partner's loyal. Just pick up the phone or go near it. If they start acting crazy, man, you might as well end the relationship there and then. Babe, I want to break up with you. I want to break up with you. We're done right now. Get out of here. I don't like you anymore. You're like, worried. Just go away, dude. We're broke up. I told you I'll break up with you. When, you. when you talk about having your heart broke, it's just a real way of thinking. When you, when you feel about other people who probably would never do anything to harm you, still. Put your put your guard up, and I can hurt hurt their feelings. You just like, I'm gonna do that to you. I thought what's the name would never do that to you. Your own people do that to you, right? Now that's painful, so, and that's traumatized because you will never be able to forget it. You know what I'm and that you carry that with you in next relationship or the next relationship. It's definitely traumatized. The first guy walked in so excited, and his whole demeanor just changed as soon as she said that. Listen, we've all been there, man. Every every guy's been heartbroken. You know, it's part of life. You know, it's part of learning and evolving. When that happens for the first time, you feel like the whole world's gonna flip an end, but after that, you become resilient. You put up a defense mechanism and you become slightly numb to it if it happens again. How much do you want your husband, future husband, to spend on a ring on you, engagement ring? Oh, easily 75. Hell no. 75, why is that? That's what I deserve. That's what you deserve? Now, what do you even do for a living? I'm majoring in accounting. I can make that easy. So you have a job then, right? What do you do living from? Doctor. You're a doctor? Yeah. Are you studying to be a doctor? I'm going to med school. I applied to med school. He has it. Now, how I, does, I know he can. Now, how does it feel that your woman wants 75 k for a ring? She believes in me. Why you people are crazy? Bro, I'm spending a 5K about a girl. Uh -uh. 5K? That's the rest it? of that money is going to, for a fucking uh, a wedding, like a, a nice wedding. Okay. Oh, we're going to have a nice wedding. We're going to have an amazing wedding. How much went for the wedding now? Oh, 150. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, okay. 75,000. And then she wants 150K on a wedding, man. Oh, these some of these girls, man, are crazy. Looks like these two will be getting married when they're like 50 years old because I tell you now, he ain't going to be affording both of them anytime soon, I'm sure. The price of the ring does not matter at all. I stand on that. The price of the ring doesn't matter. It's it's the, the person attached to it and the meaning attached to the ring. The money doesn't mean nothing. Does body count matter and what is your body count? Body count doesn't matter and I don't know what my body count is, unfortunately. Um, okay, what was the question again? What is your body count, if you know, and does it matter? I have no idea what my body count is, and no, I don't give a fuck about what your body count is. As long as you're a good person. Okay. <laughs> what would you guesstimate if you had to? Mine, I think it's over 100 for sure. That was the grossest thing I've ever heard in my life. These girls just look like they've come out of a flipping portal from hell. That... <sighs> These girls look dead inside, man. This is what I'm saying to you guys, man. You can tell when girls have just been whapped by loads of different dudes. They got that look in their eye. They just look like there's nothing in them. And this is what it's doing to them. The more, the more body count, the better. The more experience, the better. Okay. Right? Don't you think? And what's yours? <laughs> if if I... you had to guess, I don't know if you know the exact number. Like. 
No, maybe 100? Like, maybe, no. maybe 500. 500, you think? Maybe 400. 400 different ways, man. That is mental. The, these girls can't love you, man. They, they can't. The, you know, these girls' lives would just be a train wreck. Because they've lost that part of them where they can really bond with a man. They ain't got that. 400 times she's been whacked by different dudes. That is... Shout out to your father, man.